Bring out hope the right thing will now be done. A Gallapalooza horse taken from a Kentucky in a business last week still hasn't been found. And now the horse's owner taking matters into her own hands. Thanks for staying with us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Renee Murphy. Doug Profit is off this evening. Well, first here at 5, our Robert Bradfield explains the latest efforts to get that statue back in town. This horse was a part of a, a charity organization, right? It was part of a charity organization. And in fact, he is the pride and joy of one new Albany, Indiana real or so much show so she's now printing and handing out these flyers with the hope that someone has seen something. It's the hunt for a Gallapalooza horse that makes Pat Harrison heartbroken but hopeful. We find it a valuable part of our company, a valued part of my life and a valued part of uh, the community. She's on a mission to make sure her prized possession is found. Harrison is now walking the streets of New Albany, hammer in hand. Nailing these flyers on every telephone pole she sees. We're going to put them all around here to see if maybe somebody, you know, will see it. She won the horse in an online auction as part of Louisville's Operation Brightside campaign in 2004. It's one of 224 horses sold that year, with many still seen around town. The horse, the 1901 Derby winner, His Eminence, has stood outside Harrison's Realty office for 13 years. It's all about giving back to the community and it was about having something that meant something. She believes the horse was knocked over in a storm two weeks ago. It was placed in a back parking lot, but when she returned to work a few days later, the horse was gone. A mystery that still baffles Harrison, and the main question that hasn't been answered, why would someone take it? Hopefully they'll bring him back, and we'll have him reinstated where he was in the elegant way that he was there for all those years. Harrison did notify New Albany police. She says she will not prosecute those who took the horse. She just wants it back. Robert Bradfield, WHAS 11 News.